What's the biggest pig that you've seen in the forest here? 120 pounds. I have friends who think it's kind of strange that I allow my son to shoot a bow and to handle broadheads and handle a knife, or he looks so young. What's he doing out there? The waves are big. They think it's pretty strange, but I would think it's strange if I didn't do that. That's how little boys should grow up. When I was really little, I used to surf here all the time. So this is kind of where I learned how to like deal with reefs and everything. There's really no beaches. It's all raw lava rocks, and there's sea urchins and coral reef and tube coral, and it's just really gnarly stuff. And so you learn at a really young age how to get in and out of the water unscathed. I give my kids as much independence as I can. I expect a lot out of him as far as, you know, being well-mannered and being super polite and kind to people. He's really become like a wingman to me. We shoot arrows every day. There's a big pig. Oh, like a 100-pounder. I really want to catch this. What's the farthest shot you had taken here in this terrain? 30 yards. I really wanted to wait until he was old enough to grasp that. When we're out hunting, it's not a video game. These, the, these animals are, are real. When he gets an animal, I want him to take all the meat grind the meat, separate everything, package everything up. Um, uh, <laughs> like these guys are classic characters. They're just driving around with everything. Fishing poles, throw nets for fish. They have surfboards, bows. And if they see a deer, they shoot it, throw it in the back of the truck, and that's what's for dinner, you know? That's just a way of life in Hawaii. We had a lot of different species to hunt here, and you can hunt 365 days a year. Usually, like once or twice a year, I, I carve out like a one-week trip, and I'll and I'll go hunting in really incredible places. Oh my God! I'm so stoked, man! Oh my Surfing big waves and. Hunting, they have their similarities. There's a lot of waiting involved, searching involved, and being patient. Yeah, so like six years ago, I went to Mavericks, which is a big wave spot in Northern California. I went there for the first time, and this really big set was coming in, and I remember just telling myself, like, I'm going no matter what. My board kind of stopped, and I went flying, and rolled down the face, I didn't penetrate at all, got sucked up and over the falls, and I actually swam up to the surface of the lip and got a breath. I got held under for forever. It was dragging me along the bottom, I was hitting the reef, and I was in this eddy of, of power where the wave was just kind of like pushing me down, pushing me down. I was doing the involuntary. <laughs> at that point, I was, I was a new dad, and it was actually my wife's birthday that day. It was all happening in, in slow motion. I had all this time to think about all these different things. And I ended up surviving, um, from my perspective, just barely. It kind of changed everything in my life, like the way I approached sort of everything. Now I have kids, a family, and I have a lot to lose. I wanted to try and make things safer. I came up with adding CO2 cartridges to make an inflatable wetsuit. Now you paddle out to Jaws on a big day or Mavericks, and 100% of the guys have inflatable wetsuits on. It's completely changed the game and it's made it a lot safer. We haven't lost one guy since the inflatable suits were introduced.
Fight of the Year in 2016 is Shane Dorian. When I was a kid, I loved surfing, I loved the beach, and the ocean was just there for me. Do I want my son to follow in my footsteps? I want him to have fun and go nuts and be a wild little banshee, but I also want him to be a good kid and, and treat others with a lot of respect. Seems like people keep their kids cooped up all day these days. I want to get my kids outside. I explain to Jackson all the time that everything is fine until that arrow leaves your string. And as soon as that arrow leaves your string, you can't get it back. It's, it's gone, it's on its way. 